Hey everybody, welcome to Be Dull. Happy holidays. Hope you're having a great time for the holidays. I'm still here in Florida with my family. I just wanted to reach out to bless each and every person watching this video and to remind you that God is with us. He never leaves or forsakes us. I wanted to read something. I'm always constantly thinking about God and finding ways to try to, to relay the truth of God in a practical way that you would be able to see what you cannot see. I mean, the definition of not being able to see what you can't see is blindness, baby. And every single one of us, we're blinded um, by the things of the world, by Satan himself. He says he blinds the eyes and the ears of the unbeliever, right? The minds of the unbeliever, because that's where everything is. If you don't believe something in your mind, you can't see it in the natural. And we need to really get used to thinking and seeing things through God's perspective, I call it my Gigi's, honey. I got my Gigi's on every day. My God goggles, honey, because you got to see things through the word, through his perspective, not through your own. Because, baby, let's be real, honey. You got to find that mind. You can only think and know what you know, right? And your knowing is limited because we are finite. But see, God is infinite, right? And when you tap in to the power of God, then he allows you to see things that you cannot see in the natural. That's what it's all about. I have to give you this practical example. I was at my sister, I was with my sister, we were buying stuff for dinner, right? The, two things happened in the last two days. I want to show you how God operates in my life and how every single one of us can have this. I'm going to, I was going to do another message, but this is what God is calling me to do right now. So we were at the store and we were going to make some chicken fricasse, my, one of my specialties. And she gets a pack of chicken. And instantly I thought about my other niece, Danny, who's working, right? It's her first day at a new job. Congratulations, Danny. And uh, I said, no, we got to get another pack. Is Danny and her husband are going to eat? And Fatima goes, no. She goes, Mara's cooking, which is, Dan which is uh, her mother-in-law, is cooking. And I kept, something inside of me said, nope, I need more. That's not enough. It's not enough. And I, my, I persisted. And I said, no, we're going to need this. Right? I just felt it in my spirit. God said, no. And I heard Danny, my niece's uh, name, in my spirit. And my mother and my her mother, my sister was, she's like, no, that's too much. You always cook too much. Bah, 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 bah. I grabbed the chicken, put it in the cart. Not five minutes later, my niece calls and says that Mara's not cooking, that she and her husband are gonna eat. Listen to me, you might think this is a coincidence. This is how God operates in my life. Another thing happened yesterday. We were going through our mother's jewelry, right? And there was something that we didn't know if it was real or not. And I said, No, I think that's fake. You know, my mother had something, you know, mixed stuff. And I grabbed the ring. And then I looked at it, I was going to put it away. And as soon as I looked at it, I heard God tell me it's real instantly. And I was like, but Lord, I want it. Right. But she only gave it to me because we thought it was fake. I'm just being real with y'all. And we took it to a jewelry store. Guess what? It was real. I'm not making this stuff up. Now, had I not listened to God's voice, because I wanted it. I'm not going to lie to you. Whether it was fake or real, I wanted the ring. But because it was real, I knew that she could give it to one of her daughters. I'm telling you, this is just so amazing. I pray that you get this in your system, that you allow God to speak to you, to guide you, to show you things that you do not know. This is what he promises, and he does this with me every single day. But listen to me, I ain't going to lie to you. I seek after him. I keep my mind set on him, and this is what we're supposed to do. All right? So I pray that you rewire your thinking to just start thinking what God says and say what he says. And whenever you're in doubt, check it with the word. That's it. That's my message for today. I wanted to show you practically God is with us all the time. But ain't none of us, and let's just be real, most of us are not thinking about God. We think about him in the morning when we do our quick prayers, when something happens, and maybe at night we give him a shout out for getting us through the day. But what about throughout the, the whole, the rest of the day? Do you forget that you got an enemy that's roaming around like a lion looking to devour you, and yet we don't give him a second thought? And God tells us to beware of, of, of the destroyer that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Man, we got to get this, man, because this is going to change your life. I love each and every one of you, man. I am on Steady Street, honey, and Faithful Boulevard. Where you at? Holla.